Have you ever wondered how much time you have before the sun goes down? You'll want to stick around. Welcome back to Outdoor Skills Made Easy. Are you like me? Sometimes you get hiking in the woods or you're fishing or you're doing something and all of a sudden you're out of time and it's dark. We're going to talk to you about how to calculate how much time is left before the sun goes down, before you need to set up camp or stop your fishing so you can go back and help others set up camp. Today we're hiking in the Uinta Mountains in Utah and we're at an elevation of about 10,500 feet. Behind me you've got Mount Baldy and Reed's Peak and as the sun goes down it's going to descend right between those peaks. So if I want to know how much time is left before sunset, I'm going to use this method. First I'm going to take an object, my hat, and I'm going to hold it in front of the sun so as I'm looking at the sun I'm not blinded. Then I'm going to use the finger method. Each finger is worth about 15 minutes. So if I block the sun and then the fingers go down to the base of the mountain, I'll know how much time. I've got 30 minutes left, 45 minutes left, or about an hour left. Remember that this timing changes with really where you are on the planet. Doesn't work so well if you're clear up north and, or if you're maybe in Australia, New Zealand, it's gonna be off a little bit. But it'll give you a general idea of how much time you have left before you need to get back to camp to get set up. So now if I'm going to block the sun with my hat so I'm not staring into it, I'm going to put my fingers underneath and that will show me that I've got four fingers, 15 minutes each. I'm about an hour before sunset. So that'll give me time to get back to camp. Even though this is not an exact science, it's pretty accurate and it's great to have contests with your friends to see who really is the best at calculating the time. We hope that this has been fun and informative to you and hope that you'll join us again at OSME TV.